I talked to you almost a year ago when COVID really broke out. It was, I mean, it was that last week the pandemic was really blowing up. We haven't seen this kind of thing before, right? What's the worst case scenario? 30 to 50% of the population catches it, but it really should serve as a wake up call. We weren't ready. We're not prepared. So, Nostradamus, now estimates of people infected in this country, infected is 100 million, which is 30%. How do we handle this hinge moment in history? We're at a crossroads. What's the best case scenario in the next year? And what's the worst case scenario? There is all this potential energy. We are at historic levels of household savings. Both homeowners and businesses are paying less in mortgages and less in interest payments than they've ever paid. That if we can get back to a semblance of normal, it will lead to incredibly new business opportunities and the new spending and a real relief rally. We sort of saw that. It was called the Roaring Twenties in the 1920s. Right. Worst case scenario, the rich keep getting richer and the divisions that brought us and roiled our politics get worse. What are the immediate challenges for the Biden administration? COVID, COVID, COVID. Make the vaccine rollout happen. They will be entirely judged on their ability to first and foremost stop the bleeding, stop the pandemic, get people vaccinated to let's first attack COVID. We're in this race against time. Right, because if they don't get that right, everything else falls by the wayside. But also, Everything else the president wants to do has to start with how do we restore trust and leadership and trust follows success. President Trump's message during the whole pandemic was it's getting better. President Biden has come in and says it may get worse. Uh, people appreciate hearing hard truths and they need to hear them. That's what we saw with Winston Churchill's leadership during the Second World War. Winston Churchill told him hard truths and that's why he's thought of as such a great wartime leader. You know, regrettably, President Trump took all of the wrong sides of those bets. How does a president reestablish trust? You've got to be willing to work with the other side. You know, there's a real tension within the Democratic Party. Do you really trust Republicans are going to give you enough votes? It's one bipartisan deal at a time. It's very easy to get three Republicans. It's really hard to get 10 Republicans. And divided we fall. Voters in 2020 said we need to hand the keys to a responsible adult Yeah. because there's a pandemic. The mandate for Joe Biden is in a responsible way address the pandemic, in a bipartisan way be the moderate deal maker that you advertised you are.